this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to do a, just a very simple floral design on this green glass bottle I'm using two a magic flat brushes one is a number two the other one's a number eight and I will list the items down below that you can purchase through my affiliate links using a clay ball maker I'm actually going to use the larger side and you can see I still have some paint on there and my fine liner by Westonia all the paints I use are folk art paints using fresh foliage red violet thicket wicker white and yellow ochre all right so let's go ahead and begin I've already cleaned off the bottle as you can see this is my bottle that I use for my videos and I'm going to dip one side of the number eight flat brush into the wicker white the other side into the red violet do my blending strokes and I do not spend a whole lot of time on this some people do some people will do strokes and strokes and strokes well that's up to you but I choose not to do that just me do whatever floats your boat all right so I'm going to be on the chisel edge I'm going to push down pull towards the center and sorry I just hit that and if you do less pressure you'll have a thinner petal and I like to vary these and I also will change my change my brush around so that some of the edges are darker than others some of them are lighter I just like to just be really loose with my painting and just fun this is for beginners if you're a more experienced painter feel free to use it as just a design idea and put your creative ability to it because we all have different abilities right so I'm just kind of layering it going around and filling it in because as you know if you follow me when you're painting on glass the more opaque your design is the more durable it will be and it will last longer uh, you know doing on a bottle it's not going to be handled as much as it would be on a glass so it's not as big of a worry but you know you still want the design to last all right so here we go just kind of pulling around now you can again put more pressure less pressure make them longer shorter turn your brush lead with the other color like that and this is great for beginners anybody can do this I feel like if you can hold a brush you can do this design they're just kind of fun quick and easy If you want, you could go all the way around, do your initial petals, and then fill in in between. Again, pushing. I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera. That's one thing bad about these brushes; they are long stemmed, long handled. So I do have a tendency to hit my camera with them. I dip my brush into the wrong side of wrong paint and I'm a hot mess but you can see with all the different layers it just makes it more opaque when you're dealing with glass you know with this paint you don't have to do any prep other than really cleaning your surface and I recommend going over it with rubbing alcohol once you're done washing it just to make sure everything is off of it but there's no preparation on like some paints will require you to put a base down and all that and there's no requirements as far as coating it after it's done you can 
I typically use the Mod Podge dishwasher safe if I'm going to do that. Baking them actually can make them a little bit more durable. This paint does air dry if it's uh, for 21 days. So that's up to you. All right, so I'm going to use the big side of the clay ball maker and I'm dipping it into actually it was supposed to be just yellow ochre but it's got a little bit of the fresh foliage in it which is fine and you'll see why because I always do a practice design on paper so it's kind of blended in a little bit because I already used used this palette so my next thing is going to be to use my fine liner I really need to get a new one but been working on so many other things that I have not taken the time to get a new one. All right, so I'm going to just take my liner and I really want it to be just kind of a wiggly little, little stem. You can actually use the flat brush to make this one too, which would make it a lot wider, a lot of a thicker, 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 thicker. I'm gonna just do this. Whoops, I kinda messed up there, but that's okay. Not a biggie. I'm just gonna go over this because once again, the thicker the paint is applied, the more durable it's going to be. Alright, so the next step is take the number two. I'm going to put one side into the fresh foliage, one side into the thicket, and I like to add a little bit of the yellow ochre. I'm just going to do some blending strokes with it. No biggie. Then I'm going to go through and just add just some basic one stroke. I'm trying to make them a little bit thinner and longer. So you're just going to press down, pull, pull up. And I don't care, I don't really pay attention a lot of times about the color, the darks on top, darks on the bottom. You can do it however you want. If you want to pay attention to how the sunlight would be hitting your bottle, then you know pay it, focus on that and adjust it based on that. I'm not worried about it. I'm just painting. Kind of mixing it up. And I'm going to go up here a little bit. You can do that. Ever, uh, you, if you ever get to a point where you feel like it's the paint is maybe even after drying a little bit that it's too transparent. You can always go back over it and add another layer of paint. But I honestly, I coat my brushes pretty thickly, so the paint goes on pretty thick. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my liner brush and just go ahead and add my little, these are kind of thick, maybe a little bit thicker than I would really like them to be. So I can just kind of smooth this out a little bit since I'm attaching these. And I also like to just kind of bring some little, I don't know, sprigs that come out from there. This kind of makes it more of a natural happening. Sorry. And then come through here. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that it's coming directly from the stem. Pressure makes a big difference in how thick. And just kind of make it more natural looking because it's not going to be lined up perfectly. You know, things are going to overlap. And I pulled out some purple there, but things are going to overlap. And for a natural thing, it's not going to just be all separated and straight. That. 
if that makes sense. I know I'm kind of just jabbering. All right, and there you have it. It's very quick. Again, anybody that can hold a brush can do this design. I hope you'll give it a try and have fun. Relax, breathe, listen to some good music, some soft music, clear your mind while you're being creative. All right, I appreciate you stopping by. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. New to my channel, please give me a big like and share this video on your social network with your family and friends. Just hit that share button you'll find underneath the video and it'll give you the options of where you can share it. Pretty darn easy. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one. See you next time.